Hey gee, very welcome. Hit the wee follow button if you so choose. It's free, you've got nothing to lose. Now, call me superstitious, but you see when I hear the likes of Jeffrey Donaldson, DUP leader, confidently announce there will not be a United Ireland in his lifetime. I think that's tempting fate. Oh, I think that's tempting fate, because none of us know the date of our departure. Uh, not that the hubris is confined to unionist politicians in the north. No, no, no. Recently, Irish Taoiseach Leo Varadkar, he said there will be a united Ireland uh, in his lifetime. Now, he'll be proved right. will be something I'll be watching intently. You know I don't like gambling, but I'll tell you, I am tempted. I am tempted to take a punt on the outcome of this one. Like, just, just imagine Jeffrey's embarrassment, right? If, if he finds himself still sucking air as a trickler is being raised over Stormont. Ooh, I wonder if his sense of scunderment would be such that, and to force him to commit hurry carry yeah, just to prove himself right. And, and will Leo go all the way? I wouldn't trust him, you know. I, I think that we he would have himself cryogenically frozen just to ensure he's proved right. So, well, the, the, who wins between the two on the time frame for unification? If there is a unification, is unknowable. But what is known is that Leo and the Republic, well, they have won the economic battle hands down. Like, I'm old enough to remember Sunday trips with my dad driving down south, right? <laughs> Mainly because the, the, beer, the alcohol was cheaper down there. And, and getting waved past a solitary customs guard sitting in a port academy, bored out of his brains just outside Omeath. And it felt like you weren't just travelling south, you were travelling back in time. Our good roads turned into a wee bumpy track down there. And the houses looked like they hadn't been touched. It was like the, the quiet John Wayne was going to walk out of them. Sort of God, and them looked weird. How things have changed. Oh, the Republic's coffers are bursting at the seams. They're walking about with wheelbarrows full of money. They have a budget surplus of, they think, oh, it's going to be 65 billion between now and 2026. They have so much spare cash. They're siphoning some off into a sovereign wealth fund to be known as a future Ireland fund. Or take that for yourself. Take that for yourself. That's going to be estimated to be worth 86 billion by the mid 2030s. <coughs> In the shorter term, it was announced that the recent budget, Southern budget, that they're increasing their minimum wage to uh, 12 euro 70 an hour with a tax break for small landlords. Uh, a 450 euro winter credit payment plus a one year mortgage interest tax relief for some homeowners. No. <laughs> now, where did they get the money? They got the money because they're cute hooers. That's how they got the money. That's how they got the money. They dipped their, their corporation tax down to 12.5%, which meant all the big US multinationals stormed into Dublin. They're all there, Google. They're all there. Oh, uh, made a fortune. Now, the days of milk and honey are coming at an end as a Republic had to, an embarrassment. They were embarrassed into signing up to uh, a deal by the Organization for Cooperation and Development, Economic Development, uh, who want to set a global minimum corporation tax of 15%, but it doesn't matter. They've got the dough, don't you know? Their abundance stands in stark contrast to our financial predicament as we up north face into a 700 million budget deficit leading to cuts in infrastructure, education, social welfare, and our health service, to count just a few. Uh, the English overlord, Chris Seaton Harris, well, he seems content to let the lights go out here, both figuratively and literally. You know, they're, they're going to turn the street lights off in a couple of weeks. Oh, and, and all in his attempt to pressurise the DUP back into the Assembly. Uh, not going to happen. You know it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So as always, the victims will be the poorest within our society. Because... As you know, the poor always pay when the powerful and wealthy decide to play. Always. <laughs>